तेजक सगल एपरेटस तेजक सगल एपरेटस इज अ सेट ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर्स नेक्स्ट टू द ग्लोमरुलस जक्स्टा मीन्स नेक्स्ट एंड ग्लोमरुला मीन्स द ग्लोमरुला कैपलरीज एपरेटस इज अ सेट ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर्स एपरेटस इज अ सेट ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर्स सो द जक्स्टा ग्लोमरुल एपरेटस अ सेट ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर्स नेक्स्ट टू द ग्लोमरुलस This is the Bowman's capsule and the tubular portion of the nephron. The loop of Henle. Then this is the thick ascending limb. The thick ascending limb, which is a watertight compartment, beyond which. The thick ascending limb passes between the afferent and the efferent arteriole, and beyond which the early distal tubule and the late distal tubule and the collecting duct, which function as a single unit, emerges. You are all familiar with this diagram. There is a ball, a tuft of glomerular capillaries. A ball, a tuft of glomerular capillaries. And through this stuff, fluid filters from the glomerular capillaries into the Bowman space, and then into the tubular portion of the nephron. It passes through the proximal tubule, the loop of Henle, and the thick ascending limb, and then it goes into the early distal tubule and the late distal tubule and the collecting duct. There is a tuft, a ball of glomerular capillaries. There is a tuft, a ball of glomerular capillaries. Then there is a proximal tubule. The proximal tubule or the portion of the tubule close to the nephron or to the body. And then there is a loop of Henle. Loop of Henle. There is a loop. The loop is called a loop of Henle. There is a portion called a thick ascending limb. Beyond the thick ascending limb emerges the early distal tubule. The thick ascending limb and the early distal tubule act as a functional unit. Both are impermeable to water and both dilute the tubular fluid. Beyond which emerges the late distal tubule and the collecting duct. Late distal tubule and the collecting duct. There is a portion of the thick ascending limb which passes between the efferent and the efferent arteriole. A portion of the thick ascending limb which passes between the efferent and the efferent arteriole. The second yellow colored portion lies exactly between the efferent and the efferent arteriole. So this is a portion of the thick ascending limb which passes between the efferent and the efferent arteriole. Here there is a thickened spot, a dense spot, a thickened spot, a dense spot which is known as the macula densa, a thickened spot, a dense spot which is known as the macula densa. You can say that this is a thickened spot, a dense spot, macula densa, which senses the amount of NaCl delivered to this part of the nephron. And it detects the amount of NaCl delivered to this part of the nephron and adjusts the tone of the efferent arteriole. And adjusts the tone of the efferent arteriole. Now we are going to highlight this portion. That is the macula densa and the region surrounding the efferent and the efferent arteriole where the juxtaglomerular apparatus lies. The macula densa is the first portion of the juxtaglomerular apparatus.
So this is the portion of the jaxagluminal apparatus, the macula densa, which senses the amount of NaCl in the tubular fluid. So this is the macula densa, the dense spot. It senses the amount of NaCl in the tubular fluid, the efferent and the efferent arteriole. The Bowman space and the tubule. And lining the efferent arteriole are cells which are known as juxtaglomerular cells or granular cells juxtaglomerular cells or granular cells in addition there are supporting cells which support the whole structure the macular densa and the adjacent granular cells or juxtaglomerular cells these are known as lasses cells they are also known as extraglomerular messenger cells the macula densa senses sodium chloride levels in the tubular fluid the macula densa is an NaCl sensor it senses the sodium chloride level in the tubular fluid in the granular cells secrete renin the granular cells secrete renin and finally there are extra messenger cells or acid cells which are supporting cells so the macula densa senses the NaCl in the tubular fluid senses in a seal in the tubular fluid and adjust the tone of the efferent arteriole when the amount of NaCl delivery increases it constricts the efferent arteriole when the amount of NaCl delivered to the macular densa decreases it deletes the efferent arteriole So this is the juxtaglomerular apparatus. It is made of three structures: the macula densa, which senses NaCl, granular cells which synthesize renin, and lysis cells which are the supporting cells. Thank you. I am Dr. Swapnil. Please subscribe to my channel.